Wir Juden, wir sind die Zerstörer und werden die Zerstörer bleiben. Nichts, das ihr tun könnt, wird unserem Verlangen und unseren Ansprüchen gerecht werden. Es gibt kaum ein Ereignis in der modernen Geschichte, das nicht auf die Juden zurückgeführt werden kann. Nehmen Sie den großen Krieg? Die Juden haben diesen Krieg erschaffen. Wir, die wir als Retter der Welt posiert haben, wir Juden sind heute nichts weiter als die Verführer der Welt, ihre Zerstörer, ihre Brandstifter, ihre Henker. Hier ist ein hervorragendes Beispiel dafür, wie den Juden die natürliche Scheu vor schlechten Daten durch die Irrlehren der Kabbalah genommen werden soll. All the systems, other than the wisdom of Kabbalah, are based on suppressing us. That's not true. I was a nun for a year, a Buddhist nun in Tibet. Yes, so you entered some kind of a closed place. Did you do anything with your body? No. Meditation. I sat and meditated. In Kabbalah you also have meditation. That's not true. You don't have meditation in Kabbalah? No. Okay, fine. It's totally opposite. It's a completely opposite system. No matter how you put it, all the systems, and the systems of the East in particular, are based on destroying the desire to receive, on destroying the ego. Right. The ego. Kabbalah says that you should increase the ego? Sure. To increase the ego. Yes. The wisdom of Kabbalah is the wisdom of receiving, the wisdom of how to be filled, of how to grasp reality. One has to be cruel and to feel himself as tight-fisted and as a careless spender and as lustful and everything. And he has to go on living with all this and not to suppress anything, but on the contrary, to develop it. Oh, you see? So can you be a Buddhist and a Kabbalist at the same time? No, of course not. It says, I have created the evil inclination, meaning our ego, I have created the Torah as a spice. Wait, wait, you said that the ego is the evil inclination? Yes. All the nations, even those who don't know us, who we've never had any connection with, also subconsciously feel that something depends on us, that we are to blame for everything that is happening in the world. It's not simple. It's rooted in all the souls, in their root. And it's true, we are to blame. We are to blame? Yes. This may be another issue which is very wide and very delicate, but that's the way it is. And we are the chosen people because we possess the method, the wisdom of Kabbalah.